Hey everyone, happy Friday. Today I'll be doing a tutorial on carving a ram head. Now, uh, this is just the head portion of the ram. There's not going to be like too much body going on. I printed myself up a couple of reference photos just for the sake of uh, showing you where certain things are going to be. Now you're going to notice on this carving right away that there's not going to be any ears and uh, don't worry too much about it. People don't notice that they don't have ears. Um, your first couple of cut are relatively important that you get them bang on because after those are cut you're not going to be able to make too much adjustments with uh, positioning of like the horns and stuff like that. So I'll get you a top view here and I'll show you where the first couple of cuts are going to be. You're going to draw a center down your log. Now this log is about 20 inches by about we'll say 14 inches all right now what you want to do is kind of know that this is going to be the tip of your nose right here and how the ram's head is shaped it's kind of like a giant water balloon right so kind of shape that down on there and then his horns they come off and go around and out to the front here so if you were to follow that line gonna make a triangle like that from your nose out to your back and then this is gonna be the tip of his horn from where the so if you can kind of picture that they come in around and join up into the back of his head and they can come anywhere up to here so our first cut is gonna be bar depth down and then we're gonna angle it in I'll make that cut and I'll show you what it she's looking like This is the back of the horns, or the beginning of the horns up here. So we'll cut this down. This is the face, so we're going to cut that down. And while we're at it, I'm going to make a cut underneath here, just to give me a rough idea of where my head's going to be, and then I can start shaping it off from there. So the carving can be quite a bit confusing at this point as you're probably looking at it going, what the hell is this? So, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint where the horns go. Now this isn't like the final line on it, right? But it'll give you a rough idea. So, this is the top of the head. The horns start here. They come down. Go up and around to the top here, alright? And this will kind of be your inside look. What a hot mess of garbage, eh? Alright, so, so that's your horn. Alright, and that's, that's the same on both sides. I'm going to bring you around to the front and I'm going to show you how we're going to cut them off next. But from this angle, we're going to be cutting down to where the face is because we know where our horn is at, right? So we're going to cut both of these out. I just cut that chunk right off and uh, I'll reassess. And you'll be able to kind of see what the carving is going to be looking like really quick here. Alright, so unfortunately my camera wasn't recording, but we just cut off these two chunks. You can see the difference in the last shot. I'm going to give you a 360. So you can kind of see where the horn's going to be, where the face is going to be. I didn't draw it on this side, but hey, you only live once, right? So, got a rough idea how she's looking. Okay. We're going to leave the bust on his chest a little bit. We're just gonna kinda bring it in and out. We're gonna cut in underneath the horns and we'll shave that down. And on the back side, we're just gonna give him a little slant. And that's gonna thin everything down to the point where we can then move into a smaller saw and start doing some detail work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint all my horn and then I'm just going to slowly shape out the, the, the rough shape of the horn and then I'll go over it and do the proper, uh, the proper angles on it and everything. I really suggest you get some reference photos. Um, once you figure out how to do them, they're really easy, but at the beginning it's a pretty daunting task. So we'll do a, a time lapse on it 
relatively slow and I'll include both sides. So now that we've gotten the horns all done, your next step is just going to be taking your head, because it's very square right now, we're just going to taper it on both sides, and um, don't be too aggressive, because the eyes, they're very much on top of the head as they are on the side of the head, just uh, the humps that are all involved. So we're going to angle the top down, and then I'll show you the landmarks that that will help you figure out where your eyes, your cheeks, and your nose will So now we're actually jumping in to carving out where his eye sockets are going to be and all the little bulbs, uh, all the little bumps for that. Now you need to commit to a spot where you want the words to be and I really suggest you get a reference photo for this because the first couple of times it can be a little tricky. So commit a spot to where you want your horns to start off the top of the head and then about an inch and a half away from that you're going to draw a little line and then two inches from that you're going to draw another little line on the very much side of the carving and if everything's kind of going on par your eye should land exactly where the tip of your horn is now that sounds like hell and it is but usually that's how it goes on these things so we're going to want this little bump here to resemble the eye socket so we're going to bring the saw in cut on the sides of the face here kind of give us a little bump here i'll cut it and i'll kind of show you what it looks like All right, it's kind of hard to capture far away. So this is what I was meaning. Commit to a spot for your horn line. Your two eyes are actually gonna be at the front of these bumps and the socket actually bulges out on the back side. So your next step is gonna be figuring out everything that's going on here. So very much use your reference photo to see all those bumps on his face. We'll have his nose up there and all that. So that's a really bad example of what you're gonna to wanna to do. But we're gonna shape this out first. So we're gonna take this down here, take this down here, and then bring a line in just to kind of thin everything down. So this is the green saber, saber tooth disc. Uh, saber tooth, if you're watching, my disc is about three years old. I, I could really use a new one. <laughs> uh, don't get my hopes up. Um, so for this guy, I, I personally like him because it's a donut shape, right? If you push hard on it, it'll leave a depression. Um, it'll take material off while also giving you the ability to leave wood raised. And uh, for the most part, the shape it leaves is the actual shape we want. Um, when it comes to uh, leaving lips and stuff like that. So I'm going to go into a time lapse and uh, start shaping the face. The only direction I can really give you on this is to look at a reference photo. Um, at this point, you could just drill a couple eyes in there and the carving would look alright. But me, I like going a little bit more all in uh, when it comes to shaping everything out and making it kind of look realistic because these are just a fun carving and I really enjoy doing them. So we're just going to work on the face, shape him out, and then we'll start working on the horn.
Okay, so it's kind of hard to see on camera there, but for the most part, I just went down from the back and around underneath the lip. Just really shaped them out. Uh, and just narrowed down the head. Now you can look at your uh, reference photos to actually notice that like sh the shape of the ram's head is quite thick in a sense. Um, rounded everything off around the eyes. And at this point my horns are getting in the way, so I'm gonna shape them uh, and get them in their final state. Alright guys, I just want to pause for a quick sec. For the most part, my horns are shaped out. I'm really happy with the shape they've turned out. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a little uh, suggestion. It's kind of hard to see, but if you can see right here where uh, the, the top of the horn is on the head, um, the ram's horn comes down and around out, right? So you've got this little space right in between the horn here. If you take your chainsaw bar, and just for the most part, just kind of touch it against there. You can see that exact curve is the inside of the horn. And it really defines, my face isn't in the shot, it drives me nuts. It, it really defines uh, what separates the horn from the actual head. And just by doing this little niche right here, it, it, it just does, like it makes a 100% difference light and day. So you're going to want to leave that little gouge there. All right. When it comes to placement on the eyes, like I said, it can be a little bit tricky. So I suggest you use a reference photo. Now, a trick I use is, as you, it's hard to see in the photo. As you can see on the reference photo, right where the crook of the eye is, there's a little like a, like a tear duct there. So what I do was I'll place my tear duct first and just kind of make a little line to give me a reference of where my tear duct is gonna be and that'll tell me where everything else will be, right? So the beginning of the eye is the tear duct, essentially. So you can play around with that. Now I'll be using my uh, my saber bit for the Dremel, the uh, green teardrop, and I'll, I'll just try to figure out where I want both my eyes. I'll do them at the same time, and once I'm happy with where they're at, I'll go and shape the rest of the eye. Now, once you start with the eye, you have to kind of commit on this one. So I suggest where you think your eyes are gonna be, make them a little bit lower. Alright, so once you're happy with how you got the shape of your eyes all done out there, now you can tell with mine, actually if you look straight on, one of his eyes is a little higher than the other, I mean, only by a little. I'm, uh, I'm alright with that, just for the purpose of this being a demonstration, I won't go uh, try to fix it or anything like that. But um, for your carving out your mouth, eh, it's quite simple, you just want to draw you know, a little line all the way around, and uh, while we're at it we'll do the nose. Now. The whole face and the nose are all kind of one thing. The, the nose on the ram is just kind of a, it's like a little line, eh? it's just a dash on the top of the, um, it's just a dash for a nostril hole. And then that actually ties in with his lips there. He's got them little, little chunky monkeys on the front and then that turns into his mouth. So we're gonna do that all up. And then, uh, then we'll go into doing the hair. Now you can, there's a couple different ways you can do the hair on this one. Personally, I'm gonna be using my, uh, my saber bit, uh, just the teardrop uh, on the Dremel and just drawing a bunch of lines there then I'll, then I'll smooth it out with the finger sander and that'll just give the impression and direction of all the hair and then we can go and move on to finishing off the horns.
Alright, so you can see my level of detail here is just a bunch of lines with the, uh, the saber bit. My nose, just a big old black thing and I didn't put any fur on the, on the mouth to kind of make that pop out. Now we're going to do the, the horns here. Now, very simple. We're just going to go in, sorry, we're going to go in and do just a bunch of lines. I suggest you start from the inner horn, just do a bunch of lines here, eh? All the way down relatively close to each other and then you're gonna follow those lines out and across to the other side of the horn Oh man, I hate this camera. I can't see a damn thing in the viewfinder. Am I in the shot? Who knows? Right, so for the most part, the carving's essentially done. I'm going to go ahead, sand down these beautiful racks. I don't think that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and sand down these horns. Uh, my face and my head is done. Now, for the body portion of the carving, um, I suggest you go in a little deeper on where the neck is, just kind of brush the saw on the on the bottom of the chin to give it the look that he's got a neck under there. And then what we're gonna do is put a whole bunch of lines on the body because goats rams got fur, little tiny furs. This is the final product. As you see, I went down and I just burned everything below what isn't the actual body. I charred the horns and then actually sanded them a little bit just to get them this weird texture that kind of makes it look, I think it looks pretty cool. Now you could sand all the little fuzzies here too if you wanted to go a bit further, but my wood is a little wet. There she is. Ram's head carving. Now, depending on how much time and energy you put into these guys, you can sell them for 250 to 300. Uh, even though they are such a small carving, the more detail you pump into these guys, the more they sell for. Um, I do a quick version of these guys, and they, it doesn't look anything like this bad guy, this bad boy here. And I sell them for 50. There you go. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, sorry about the length of the video there. I tried to edit it down as much as I could, but I didn't want to cut too much out because it is a relatively confusing carving. Um, next week, I may or may not be doing a video. Uh, time um, This time of year gets really slow for me, and uh, income-wise right now, I am struggling a little bit. So I do peel logs uh, for log homes there to try to supplement my income to keep me going through this uh, the winter season um, I will be having to dedicate all next week to peeling which is fine by me it gets me through right and it allows me to do what I love so um, I probably won't be uploading a video I will try to be doing a couple of carvings though during the week and I will be uploading those to Instagram uh, you can follow me at chainsaw artist um, pretty sure I'm the only one I don't know um, as far as everything else goes, guys, I appreciate all the subscriptions and views that I've been getting. Um, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, keep on carving, guys.